Hello again, everybody. I am here to talk to you today more about the empowered family and the empowered family leader. And that's a strong word. That's a real strong word, family leader, because what I find very often is that there's a lot of people who just don't want to lead. They don't want to be in the leadership position. They don't want to have that sort of target uh, put on their, their chest that, that says, I am leader, because then they feel like if something goes wrong, well, then it's all my fault, right? Well, when we're empowered and when we're the leading advocate for our loved one and for our family and for the entire family unit and the belief system that we have, uh, like it or not, you're in a leadership role. You know, here you go. Happy to hand you your crown and your scepter. You're, you're a leader now. So as a leader, it's important that you figure out, number one, how to lead, like what are you, what's important to you in terms of your leadership. But also it's important to remember, you know, that you can have a methodology of leadership. And when you develop a method of leadership, it's vitally important, vitally important that you impart your vision for yourself and for your leadership skills, but also remain consistent in that leadership and be committed to it. But consistency is what people are looking for in a leader. So above all, when you develop leadership patterns and leadership skills, and I have a lot of resources available for you guys on that as well as you'd like, just reach out and, and touch me <laughs> and ask me for them. And uh, I will certainly get those to you for free. No problem. I got tons of material on it. So, uh, Leadership's important. You're all leaders because you're all powerful people making a huge difference in the lives of others. And, and, I, and I appreciate the work you do. So stay proactive, get more proficient and continue to change lives.